All right, and welcome back to another episode of Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. This time around, we're going to be looking at the Dofer A135 Quad Linear VCA and Voltage Controlled Mixer right over here. Uh, we're going to be talking basics. I kind of introduced this, uh, this module in the last series, the A143-9 Quadrature LFO series, uh, but didn't really get to ta uh, talk too much about it. Uh, so this time I thought it would be interesting to just kind of go through the basics. Um, and then after we go through the basics, we'll talk a little bit about how you can utilize this for um, DC voltages or low frequency signals. Uh, and then go into an audio rate demonstration. And then following that, we'll go into a quadraphonic demonstration. So without further ado, let's just talk about what this module actually does. Now, if you're familiar with the concept of a VCA, uh, you'll know that it's got basically a place where you can input a signal, which is right here. Uh, usually has some kind of adjustment for the input, which is right here. Uh, and then immediately to the right of that, uh, this is gonna be kind of the master gain right there for that specific channel. Um, and then you have a place usually where you can input an external CV. Now this could be an LFO, which we're gonna be utilizing one of these two guys in uh, our demonstration purposes, um, or it could be an envelope or really any other kind of CV that you can generate in your modular system. Um, and then of course you have your output, which in this case is all the way down at the bottom. Um, and in this uh, specific module, you actually have two ways that you can output your signal. You have a sum output all the way down at the very bottom, which is what this is plugged into. And the sum output actually just adds up all four of the individual channels. And then over on the left, you have individual outputs for each of the channels, labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, and they correspond to 1, 2, 3, 4, of course. Uh, now, one interesting thing to note is this uh, particular module will actually allow you to output all of these simultaneously. So from our sum output, we'll get the final mix, and then we can also output from number one if we wanted to get uh, that specific signal out to a different place. Uh, now, um, other modules out there might have where when you take one of the outputs, uh, it sort of breaks the connection, and then you basically get um, the removal of that input. So one would be removed from the final mix. But in this case, you can actually use both. So let's take a look at that really quick and then just kind of do a little review of how a VCA works. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I've, I've done a, a series on the A130, I believe, which is the, uh, the Dofer um, VCA, or maybe it was the A131, I'm sorry. Uh, so let's patch a pulse wave down here at the bottom and just go into our input number one up here in our A135. There we go. And make sure we're plugged in all the way. Okay. And bring my gain up a little bit. And there you can actually hear a little bit of signal. Might be a little bit loud. Let me check my levels here. We're okay. Uh, now, if I wanted to adjust the input signal, I could bring this down. And that'll bring my signal down all the way to the bottom, or I could bring it back up. Uh, now, if I want to do something a little uh, different, that is, you know, I want my signal to kind of go up and down, kind of like that, at my final output, then I need some sort of modulation signal. So, for modulation, usually you use an LFO that can take the place of your hand just kind of sitting there turning the dial. So let's take a sine wave and then go right over to our external CV input on channel one and just patch it in. Should hear a little bit of movement now. now it's going kind of fast and you can hear that that sort of pulsing is actually moving at the same rate as this LED. So let me bring it down a little bit so we can use something a little more gradual. There we go. Well, 
Let's try a different waveform. And I'll unpatch that and let's try a triangle. Okay. So that's the basic idea behind the first channel um, in the quad VCA. Now, just basically take that understanding that you have of channel one, and it's the same for all four of the individual channels. Um, however, one other thing is that I now have uh, the ability to take one of these signals out and go to my final mix. Uh, now, normally, I would take this out to a mixer, but since I don't actually have one here, uh, all I'm going to do is patch a cable into here just to show you that the signal kind of continues on. In some cases, when you have a VCA uh, or a quad VCA of some sort or like a matrix mixer, sometimes when you plug into the output of the individual channel, it kind of breaks the connection from the final mix, which is coming out over here. Uh, but in this case, that's not what's going on. See? So I'm going to leave that plugged in because it's not actually going anywhere. Um, and I'm going to take a second waveform. And let's just go down to my A111. And let's take the saw wave. And then go into input number two. And bring that down a little bit. Now I want to modulate that with something. So let me get a cable and I'll modulate that with a different waveform. So maybe our sine wave from before. I'm going to go right in here. Now they're kind of moving at about the same rate. Because of course they're coming from the same LFO. So you can hear that the behavior is kind of carrying on. All right, now I'm going to try something uh, just so we can hear what all is going on. So I'm going to unpatch from our sum output. There we go. And I'm going to go down into my bottom section here. Now you're not going to be able to see this, uh, but I'm patching into a VCA down here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to patch into my VCA. Just so now all we're hearing is channel one. And then now I'm going to take the sum output and patch into that same VCA. So use your imagination here. So basically this just gives you another way that you can control the output and kind of get an even more interesting mix. Now I just did direct out from here, but you could run this out to an external effect like a BBD delay. Uh, or some kind of other filter, low pass, maybe a wasp filter, a bit crusher, or something like that, um, and just get more timbral possibilities in your mix. And so that, for the most part, in a nutshell, is the basics of this module. Not really a lot to it. It's uh, similar to a mixer in some ways because of the sum output, uh, but uh, it also brings back the concept of a VCA. So all in all, I can see myself utilizing this module down the road kind of a lot, actually. Um, so let's talk about what we're going to do in the next segment. Uh, we did basics now on the quad VCA. So in the next one, what I'd like to do is do kind of a short demonstration of how you can utilize this quad linear VCA uh, to kind of adjust or modulate uh, low frequency or DC signals. Um, might try to incorporate some oscilloscope views in that, uh, and then we'll kind of move on to audio rate demonstrations and then follow up with the quadraphonic demonstration. So hopefully you'll stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching this segment, and keep on patching out there.